All right, so are you ready to really, like, experience Dublin? Because in this deep dive, we're going to take you there. We're time traveling you to Dublin just for 24 hours. And trust me, we've got an itinerary that's going to leave you wanting more. We're talking about the whole shebang. Really history, culture, those good vibes, good food. All crammed into one incredible day, right? Yeah. <laughs> and it, we're basing this whole adventure on... Yeah. We're using a suggested itinerary that we found on Tourism Ireland's Love Ireland blog. It's a fantastic starting point, but of course. Oh, of course, we're going to spice things up a little, right? I mean, come on. We're going to add our own insights, some little known facts, some behind the scenes stuff. Yeah, make this experience truly unforgettable for you guys. So picture this. You've just landed in Dublin. It's morning. You're ready to hit the ground running. Where do we even begin? Well, I'm thinking epic. Epic, the Irish Emigration Museum, that is. Now, I know what you might be thinking, a museum. <laughs> right off the bat. But trust me on this one. This is not your grandma's stuffy museum. <laughs> yeah. Not even close. This place is all about bringing stories to life. It even won Europe's Leading Tourist Attraction Award back in 2019. Yeah, and for good reason. It's incredibly interactive. You get a passport and travel through these themed galleries. It's really cool. You'll discover how Irish emigration has actually shaped the world. I mean, talk about impact. You'll encounter stories of incredible sacrifice, thrilling adventures, amazing discoveries. And it's all brought to life in a truly spectacular, immersive way. So where can you find this, gem? Well, Epic is nestled in the heart of Dublin's Docklands. It's open daily from 10 a.m. to 6 far 5 p.m. But listen. The last entry is at 5 p.m., so plan accordingly. Yeah, you're going to want to give yourself plenty of time to really soak it all in. So after you've had your fill of Epic, we'll hop on a quick tram ride to Houston Station. Yeah, and from there, it's a short train journey to, well, our next adventure. Get ready, because we're about to explore Phoenix Park by bike. Oh, Phoenix Park? Are you talking about the largest enclosed public park in any European capital? That Phoenix Park. That's the one. That's amazing. Isn't it beautiful? It's absolutely stunning. And, you know, it's not just big. It's got all this history. It even won, you know, a prestigious gold award. Wow. Gold award. Huh? Yeah. And get this. The Irish president, they actually live within the park. Can you believe that? Talk about exclusive neighbors. Wow. So just imagine this. Yeah. Okay. You're cycling along, the wind in your hair. You're passing these ancient trees, historical monuments, maybe even a glimpse of the wild deer. Wait, there are deer. Oh, yeah. There are like 500 wild deer roaming freely through the park. No way. Yeah. And hey, you might even hear the lions roaring from Dublin Zoo. It's right nearby. That's so cool. So how long is this cycling tour? About an hour. It's a perfect way to get a feel for the park before we grab some lunch. Ooh, lunch. Yeah, we'll have a quick bite at the Phoenix Cafe. It's actually right in the park. Sounds perfect. You know what? I think I might just peek at their menu ahead of time. You know what? That's actually not a bad idea. All right, so after we refuel and soak up some of that Phoenix Park energy... We're off to a place that's, well, let's just say it's one of a kind. Okay, you've got me intrigued. What is it? The Irish Museum of Modern Art. Ooh, I'm M.A. You know it. Now, here's the catch. It's actually housed in the historic Royal Hospital Kilmainham. Wait, a hospital? Yeah. It's this incredible 17th century building, you know, originally designed for retired soldiers. Talk about a transformation, right? That's now. wild. Hello. So what kind of art can we expect to see there? Well, they have an amazing collection of contemporary art, both Irish and international artists. Ooh, like who? Well, you might see a powerful installation by Dorothy Cross. You know, she often explores the relationship between humans and nature in her work. I like her. Or right. maybe you'll be captivated by the bold, abstract paintings of Sean Scully. He's an Irish artist whose work has gained international acclaim. Really incredible stuff. Okay, so how much does it cost to see all this incredible art? Well, here's the best part. Entrance to the museum and the grounds is absolutely free. You're kidding. Nope. There's a small fee for special exhibitions if you're interested in those. That's amazing. Where is I Am A located? You'll find it in Dublin 8. Easy to get to and definitely worth adding to your list. You got it. Okay, so what's next on this whirlwind tour of Dublin? Okay, get ready for this one. Brace yourself. We're going to a whiskey distillery. A whiskey distillery? Don't tell me it's in like a, a castle or something. Close, but even more unique. It's in a former church. Whoa, what? A church? Seriously. Said serious. This boutique distillery, it's called the Pierce Lions Distillery. It's actually located inside the 800-year-old St. James's Church. 800 years old. 
So cool. Imagine sipping whiskey surrounded by stained glass and ancient walls. It's an experience unlike any other, that's for sure. Okay, so after all that whiskey, oh. I'm thinking we need to walk it off a bit. Good thinking. How about a stroll through Dublin's charming antique quarter? Oh, I love antique shops. Where is that? It's on Francis Street. It's this little street with tons of quirky little shops, all filled with treasures from the past. Ooh, so many stories to uncover. And where does this delightful walk lead us? To one of Dublin's most iconic landmarks, St. Patrick's Cathedral. Wow, St. Patrick's Cathedral. That's the one where Jonathan Swift is buried, right? The one and only. Yeah. The author of Gulliver's Travels rests right there. Amazing. Tell me, how old is this cathedral anyway? Over 800 years old. 800 years? Yeah. That's incredible. And I heard they still have daily sung services there. They do. It's the only remaining cathedral in Ireland with this tradition, actually. Wow, that's pretty special. So what else can we do there besides just, you know, admiring the architecture? Oh, they have some really cool interactive elements that bring the cathedral to life. Like what? Well, you can explore the touchscreen discovery space. It's got all the history and stories of the cathedral. Oh, cool. What else? And why not try your hand at brass rubbing? They have everything set up there for you. Ooh, fun. Oh, and they also have, like, model building. You can build your own little mini cathedral. Sounds like a great way to learn and have fun at the same time. Exactly. Plus, all the proceeds from the small entrance fee go toward maintaining this historical gem. That's great. So how long should we plan to spend there? About 35 to 40 minutes should give you a good taste of it. All right. So by now, I'm thinking we've worked up quite an appetite again. You read my mind. So for dinner tonight, we're heading to Coppinger Row. Coppinger Row. Tell me more. It's a restaurant, and it's known for its vibrant atmosphere and delicious food. Ooh, I like the sound of that. What kind of food do they serve? Oh, they focus on fresh, locally sourced ingredients, really highlighting the best of Irish cuisine. Yeah. And where is this place located? It's right in the heart of Dublin's liveliest laneway. Imagine yourself seated outside. Oh, yeah. Surrounded by the buzz of conversation, the laughter, the clinking of glasses. That sounds amazing. The perfect setting to savor a delicious meal and a glass of fine wine. Absolutely. And, you know, it's a great way to reflect on all the amazing adventures we've had today. Definitely. But wait a minute. There's still more to come, right? But, oh, yeah. The night is young and Dublin's just getting started. All right. We'll be back after a quick break to fill you in on what else this magical city has to offer. Don't go anywhere. So you've had a taste of Dublin's best, enjoyed a fantastic meal at Coppinger Row. And now you're probably thinking... What's next? Right, well, that's the beauty of Dublin. It's a city that just keeps on giving. Always something happening, always a hidden gem waiting to be discovered. Like, what, give me some examples. Okay, picture this. Cozy pubs tucked away down cobblestone alleys. Oh, I love those. Filled with the sounds of traditional music, you know, people laughing, sharing stories. The craggy egg. Exactly. Or maybe you'll stumble upon a vintage bookstore, you know, one of those overflowing with literary treasures. A bookworm's paradise. It really is. There's just something magical about those unexpected moments. Those little pockets of charm that you find when you just let yourself wander. Absolutely. And, you know, speaking of magical moments, yeah. let's take a minute to think about everything we've already experienced today. It's only been a few hours, but it feels like a lifetime. I know, right? We started our journey at EPIC, connecting with those incredible stories of emigration. Stories of resilience, of adventure, of shaping the world. Then we cycled through the stunning beauty of Phoenix Park, breathing in all that history. From ancient trees to the president's residence, it's like stepping back in time. And who could forget Ema? The art, the history, all intertwined in this unique space. A former hospital transformed into a haven for creativity. It's amazing. And then, of course, there was that whiskey. Sipping whiskey in a former church. It's something I'll never forget. It's those unexpected juxtapositions that make Dublin so special. It really is. But beyond the individual attractions, I feel like there's a common thread running through them all. What do you mean? A sense of resilience, a spirit of reinvention, this constant interplay between the past and the present. You see it everywhere, right? From the repurposed churches to the vibrant street art that's like splashed across these centuries-old buildings. It's a city that embraces its history, while constantly looking forward, always evolving, always surprising you. And that, I think, is what makes Dublin so captivating. It's not just a collection of sites. It's a living, breathing tapestry. Woven from the threads of history, culture, and the spirit of its people. 
You know, it makes me think back to Epic. To those stories of immigration, of people leaving their homeland to make a new life for themselves. It really makes you think about the impact each of us can have on the world. The ripples we create with our actions, the legacy we leave behind. It's a powerful thought, isn't it? And something I hope you'll carry with you is you continue to explore. Not just in Dublin, but wherever your journey takes you. What legacy will you leave behind? What mark will you make on the world? These are big questions, I know. But sometimes the most profound insights come from the most unexpected places. Maybe it'll be a chance encounter in a Dublin pub. A conversation with a local artist. A moment of quiet reflection as you wander the city streets. That's the beauty of travel, isn't it? It has the power to open our minds, challenge our perspectives, and inspire us to see the world and ourselves in new ways. So as you venture out into the rest of your Dublin night, keep those questions in mind. Embrace the unexpected. Allow yourself to be surprised. And who knows? Maybe you'll leave a little piece of your own story behind in this remarkable city. Dublin's waiting to welcome you, to inspire you, to become a part of its ever-evolving narrative. Go out there, explore, and discover the magic that awaits. Wow, so that was our whirlwind tour of Dublin. 24 hours packed with adventure. Award-winning museums, hidden pubs. Whiskey in a church, deer roaming free in this massive park. It's been quite a ride, hasn't it? It really has, and you know, even though we covered a ton, yeah. it's amazing how this specific itinerary mm -hmm. kind of reveals something deeper about Dublin, you know? Now you're talking. What do you mean by that? Well, think about it. We started at Epic, right? Exploring all those stories of Irish emigration. Yeah, talk about resilience. A testament to their impact on the world. Yeah, for sure. And then we were cycling through Phoenix Park. This space that's seen like centuries of history. Vikings to the British and then independence. Exactly. And then there's IMA. Oh, yeah. And that former hospital. Well, a contemporary art museum, right? It's like. What is it like? It's a physical representation of transformation. Oh, yeah. Repurposing the past to create something new and vibrant. Yeah, that's a good point. And let's not forget about the Pierce Lions Distillery. That's right. World-class whiskey in an 800-year-old church. Talk about a blend of tradition and innovation. It's so Dublin, isn't it? It really is, and that's what's fascinating here. Okay. Listen. These seemingly separate stops, yeah. they're all connected by this like common thread. Pictures. Dublin's ability to embrace its past while looking ahead. It's like peeling back the layers of an onion, right? Each layer revealing a new side to the city. Exactly. And it's a city that invites you to like slow down. Yeah, really experience it. Soak in the atmosphere, connect with those echoes of history. You can practically feel them lingering around every corner. And you know, it's about more than just ticking off attractions. It's about really experiencing the city. A city that's both ancient and modern, vibrant and contemplative. A place where you discover something new at every turn. Absolutely. And so, as you head off on your Dublin adventures, beyond even our 24 hours, remember that travel is more than just sightseeing. It's about opening yourself up to these new experiences. Immersing yourself in different cultures. Discovering a little bit more about yourself along the way. And you never know, your next 24-hour adventure. Where will it take you? It might lead you to something remarkable. Not just about the world. But about yourself. So get out there, explore, let Dublin surprise you, and until next time. Happy travels!